first five people to like, subscribe, leave a comment below. I'll draw a stupid picture of you like this one, like this one, like this one, like that one. That one literally there is one that I have done. Welcome back. Welcome back. You're here with us on Spooky Week for Halloween. One of us has made the effort, and I'm sure you can tell which one it is. Skaz. Yeah. Yeah. Skaz, that's, that's horrifying. <laughs> <laughs> this week we're here to discuss the album Burn, Burn the, the Empire. Empire by The Snuts. Yeah, the worst name band ever. When you first said The Snuts, I thought it was like a... Sluts. No, tribute band to The Snuts. Struts? Is that there is a band called The Struts. Yeah, yeah I was, <laughs> wasn't even sure I was going to say that. Like, but yeah, the Struts. No, it's The Snuts. Yep. Before we do get started, I have a question. What's new to you in music? In music? Yeah. Well, I've tried listening to some something called Nova Twins. Have you mm, heard that? No. So it's like, a, I think there were two piece, maybe three. Twins would indicate two. But, um, have you heard Royal Blood? Yes. It's a similar setup to that, except I think they actually use a, an electric gu- uh, guitar instead of bass. Okay. But they're meant to be like the next big thing in like rock and like hard rock music. When I um, listened to it, I just thought, this is really boring. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I really wanted to like it because I was like, oh, this is all new and exciting. And it shouldn't matter, but you don't normally get, you don't get a lot of black people doing hard rock. There's very few. And these two women are the women as well, which is also a, in interesting thing oh living <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah it's uh, it's just not good have you heard anything new well I'm still doing my new um, my album every day hmm. uh, I went to go and see Twerp yesterday yeah, into the even, merchandise can't even see the name Twerp just Twerp yeah. what is that for those out there that don't know including me so they're like um, they kind of sound like 80s music 80s synth music also kind of sounds like futuristic music and they're from space, and they're from Canada. And not the one. Yeah. <laughs> so do they sound like, never having heard them, does they sound like craft work? Uh, kind of, yeah. They've got a Daft Punk kind of style, but less kind of EDM, more funk. Okay, and how many are in twerp? Four. Dr. Sung on keyboard and vocals, Lord Phobos on guitar, Commander Meowch on bass, and Have Hogan. On... Have Hogan. Yeah, on drums. We're never going to review these because I refuse to listen to them. <laughs> They're amazing. And if you've heard them, you know it. Anyway, we are digressing. Yep. Snuts. The Snuts. Apparently they were named that because I think they just were told that they sounded really bad in high school. This is just from the Wikipedia page. So they tried coming, to make Coming it... in hot with your wiki info as yeah. usual. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's he going to get you in for? <laughs> And um, yeah, there's just this is a, a word that sounds like the noise we make. Snut. Snut. <laughs> I mean, if I thought that, if I'd had that thought, I'd just give up my career in music. I guess the reason why we found this, because we are starting to look at new music that's coming out each week. Mm-hmm. So when we reviewed Slipknot, uh, The End So Far, that album was called, wasn't it? Yeah. It was that and... The Snuts and strangely a George Michael album, which we're all running for number one. Well, because it's been reissued. Ah, so. nostalgia. Yeah. <laughs> so between like, well, it was more like death metal than new metal with Slipknot, wasn't it? And then indie rock and literal 80s. Was it an 80s one? Well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's what brought us to the Snuts. Yeah. I hadn't heard of the Snuts before no, no. I was, saw that there's this race for number one between them and Slipknot. I'd never heard of them. I would not even have been able to guess. Well, to be fair, I would have been able to guess what type of music they were because they've got the word the at the beginning of the, the... There was a time in music where there was the bands. So if you were the something, like the Kaiser Chiefs, the Arctic Monkeys, the... the Aren't ones. they just called Arctic Monkeys? The Arctic Monkeys. I'm sure, because they've got an album called AM for Arctic Monkeys. You might be right with that. I think yeah. it's the Kaiser strokes. Chiefs as well. I don't the think Kaiser it's the... Kaiser Chiefs. I think it's just Kaiser Chiefs. <laughs> I think your logic is just... The Jam. Okay. The Beatles. <laughs> anyway, those bands, there was a time when there was it, this was an indication that there were indie bands. You've just gone from like two noughties bands, and then right, okay then, this band from the 70s. Where was this time that you're talking about? Like, the, the time past 60 years. Yeah, <laughs> Made up in my head. Anyway, what did you think of the album? Really good. Yeah. yeah I loved it. 
really surprised myself with how much I loved it because I went into it thinking this is going to be... Because of the name, The Snots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I absolutely loved it. There were a few songs on there I didn't like, but yeah, I've gone back to it a, a few times and yeah. But... I uh, listened to it the first time, did my review on my Instagram, have been listening to it a bunch more and just like it more and more each time. Like mm. it's really growing on me. It does sound like something that like a lot of my childhood I was set playing FIFA. Yeah. And it it's a very like much FIFA. FIFA soundtrack music, isn't it? Or like Need for Speed soundtrack yeah. or something. Again though I'd have avoided that like the plague at one point. But this I don't know what it is about it, but it just it's just exciting. Like the song that you showed me at first, Knuckles. Yeah. I thought, oh, this is not good. But then when I've heard it in full, along with the other tracks, it it makes sense and it's really good. Like, the lyrics are really catchy, they're smart. It might be in Knuckles, actually. Like, it's obviously indie rock, but it's like a drum and bass beat mm. in the background. Yeah. And, like, I was just listening to it today and I was thinking, like, it just goes really well. Yeah. And they reminded me of, have you heard much of the Wombats? You'd have to tell me some songs by Let's them. Let's Dance to Joy Division. That's our Dance to Joy Division. No. Um... Techno fan? Is that what it's called? No. Anyway, it sounds like that. Like, it's indie music that you can dance to. Like, you can imagine it would be... If Level in Town ever played new music, yeah. it'd be on in... Oh, Fire's Court. It'd be on in Fire's Court. Okay. Uh, I mean, I'm sure that I have heard them before. I just couldn't play from those titles. Yeah. It's indie music you can dance to. How about the album cover? I don't remember it. <laughs> <laughs> As usual. <coughs> I found the lyrics quite relatable as well. Like, burn, yeah, indie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll put it on the screen as usual. It's just kind of the band dossing about, quite blurred. Like, Burn the Empire, the first track on there is, like, an amazing song. Yeah. Like, and it's, like, that's quite relatable. Like, from what I gathered from the lyrics in terms of being put down by... So you've gone punk rock, <laughs> is what you're saying. Well, yeah, it was more punky than I yeah. thought it was going to be. There was only one song on there, I think, that I didn't like, and that was the duet with Rachel Chinula. Yeah. End of the Road, is it called, or something? Yeah, uh, it just, it, I don't know, it just didn't capture me like that. Yeah, this. End of the Road. Yeah. I'd probably agree, that's probably the weakest one on there, but I did still like that one. Mm, I did uh, skip it last night when I was going through it again. It's surprising how they're a band from Glasgow... Mm. And yet you can't tell at all from the singing, I don't think. I think. On some bits you can, like the but Every first... now and then something will creep in. But like yeah. with Biff, Biffy Clyro, I don't think they're from Glasgow, but they sound very Scottish. Yeah. Whereas with these, it's on the rodeo, where the singer, and I, I can't remember the lyrics now, but the singing, blah, 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 get to the end. I think we've got enough there, haven't we? We've got yeah. enough to do something with that. Yeah. Like, they don't sound that like that when Scottish, they sing. by the way. Hey. Supposedly. Hey. I sound, sound like Jasmine. <laughs> <laughs> um, there were, I think it might have been in Burn the Empire where like, you could tell like, why he was singing. Maybe it's just because I'd read the Wikipedia and I knew there was Scottish. I was like... Yeah, I just don't think they sound strongly Scottish. Yeah, but it's not like really broad. Like, because Glaswegian is like the most incomprehensible Scottish accent that there is out there. Hi, Glaswegian fans. Hi, Limmy. <laughs> <laughs> you said you needed to watch Limmy with the subtitles on. I'm sure you yeah, said that. Yeah. But... <laughs> So, uh, we don't need to let them know that. <laughs> <laughs> Favourite tracks? Um, Cosmic Electronica. Cosmic Electronica. Oh, that had a really good like, hook to it. That sounds like Twerk. Chorus. That's how they sing in that chorus. Nope. Um, and then Yesterday, like the ballad right. at the end, um, which is how acoustic rock should be. Yeah, Burn the Empire. Like, those are my top three. I think Yesterday was my favourite one on there. Right. Knuckles was my favourite. That's the one that I find myself whistling all the time. Um, I did really like... What's that one that I just said, where they speak? Rodeo. Rodeo. I like Rodeo. Mm. I like 13 as well. That's the other kind of ballad one, where it's like, 13, sucking on the bottle, going at the throttle of life. Yeah. I will have got some of the lyrics wrong there. <laughs> sucking on the bottle. It's is something that like it that. It's genuinely... <laughs> Yeah, I did find on that yesterday song, I did find uh, the vocals a bit jarring at first because, but it's like rough and unformed, isn't it? It's not overproduced, it is. Sipping from the bottle. Yeah, that sounds Choking more like on the throttle of life. Sucking on the bottle. Someone's got something <laughs> on their mind. But um, <laughs> yeah, I found that really good because 
Like it was just unguarded, and sometimes I think that's what acoustic songs should be, mm. not overproduced and. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, I found that really good. Right, like, quite affecting. Oh. I didn't even cry. Did it make sh- you feel? Out of ten. Nine. That high? Mm. Wow. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. No, I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> just shut out my mouth. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I hadn't considered it before I just asked. <laughs> Um, but the first time we listened to it on my Instagram, I put it as a seven. But I, upon further consideration, I thought I'd settle it like an eight. Mm. Like I'm enjoying it. I'm probably going to go back to it a lot. It didn't blow my face off. However, it's it was a really good album. Yeah, you can listen so, to it again. So how music buying public? How did Slipknot? Well, that's <laughs> get ahead of this. Yeah, Slipknot beat it. But I guess you got to bear in mind Slipknot. I've got a history of fans. Yeah. Whereas I think a this is history of idiots. <laughs> <laughs> I'm staying out of this one. <laughs> um, whereas the Snuts, I think this is the second album. It might even be the first. There's two second. CDs, but I don't know if one of them. the second it? album is that. Yeah. yeah, I can't into Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> Which brings us to the question of music. Who are you? Is it good though? Yeah. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Mm. All things considered. That album considered. Well, that album, yeah. <laughs> Based on that, I'd say yeah, it is. Yeah, which so. means the scores for yes and no are somewhere around there. I think presently, no. <laughs> <laughs> presently, the evidence leans towards music being a good thing. Yeah, but we've only got two billion albums to go, so <laughs> one tuned. step, one step at a time. Come back next week where we will be discussing the nineteen seventy five, the album is called this has just been sprung on me (laughs) (laughs) being funny in a foreign language yeah bye then yeah bye